My name is Tesco V, and I am. Um, <laughs> let's try that again. <laughs> My name is Tesco V, commonly known as the Dutch Hercules, because look at those guns. Um, I'm a punk rock singer, toy collector, motorcycle rider, family man, nine to fiver, I do it all. And I'm still playing punk rock at age 55. Back in fucking Lansing where it all began 31 years ago. Never heard of it. The punk thing just kind of happened. I was at Paramount News. There was a new musical express with the Sex Pistols on the cover and I was like, wow, what's this? And dove head first into it, wrote a book about it, wrote a magazine about it uh, called Touch and Go, started a record label by the same name and the rest is history. The whole thing would have, was kind of weird because I was in a punk band but I was a third grade school teacher so it was kind of all sorts of like, you know, I had to kind of hide what I did and so it was kind of a relief when I lost my job. Hi, I'm Just Bragg. Welcome to Collector's Showcase. Now, what do punk rock and toys have in common? Well, nothing much to you, maybe, but to former lead shrieker of the Meat Men, Tesco V, they're the two driving forces in his life. It's uh, monsters, it's space toys, it's boy toys, it's, it's uh, TV related stuff. Anything that grabs my attention, anything cool. The Green Hornet, which was uh, a show that only ran for one season. They tried to cash in on the popularity of Batman, so they made the Green Hornet. Dangerous toys are always fun to collect. Stuff that would never be legal nowadays. Guns, toy guns that would put your eye out. You'd never make a toy like the Hubley Atomic Disintegrator gun. First of all, it's like murder weapon heavy, but too cool. And then bobbleheads. See, I've got quite a selection of bobbleheads. Tesco V on stage and Tesco V at home are kind of two different animals. He's a character that I climb into and have fun, and I'm not afraid to say things because it's kind of like Larry David, kind of says things that you think but would never really say. You know, things were pretty, there was a lot of politics and a lot of political bands back then and I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna write a song called Cripple Children Suck! Cripple Children Suck! Children Suck! Obviously, I don't really think that, folks, so don't get your knickers in a bind. It was all for shock value. It's punk rock. It's supposed to be about anger, hostility, and, and um, antisocial behavior, so. It doesn't get much more antisocial than that. I had this big dildo, and I just would, you know, haul off and let clock you if you're in the front row. And there was a professor from Wayne State who was just kind of standing there staring at me, so I just, like, hauled off and nailed him, and I knocked him out cold. I mean, he was on the floor, like, unconscious. It was like, I guess I hit him a little too hard, but... It's just one of those things that happens at a punk show, you know. You might get clocked with a phony penis. I remember standing at the Cameo Theater in Miami and I had these gloves that were all outfitted and I had, I had like 10 bottle rockets tied together. And I just stood there and went like this and somebody came out and let them. I was just firing bottle rockets into the crowd. It's like, hello, can you spell lawsuit? Oh, another night, I had this pneumatic ping pong ball gun and it held 40 ping pong balls and they shot, it shot 40 ping pong balls in like five seconds. So I'd come out on stage and I'd like menace the crowd and they'd be kind of like looking at me and all of a sudden, you know, and I just remember the look on people's faces as like, you know, balls were bouncing off their foreheads. Well, one night in Maine, bam, the whole end of the gun blew off, hit a girl in the forehead and like cut her open pretty good. Well, I still enjoy playing them, you know, I always 
tease that I'll be in the Holiday Inn in Albany playing tooling for Anus in a tuxedo jacket or whatever, but I still enjoy playing those songs and sue me, but I'm not going through the motions. I still enjoy it just as much as I did 30 years ago. I'm sure college kids are like, what is this guy, you know, you know, doing playing punk rock for, but it's like, hey, why not? I do it better than the Riverboat Gamblers or No Effects or all those crappy bands that you listen to. So there.